angels welcome back i hope you had a really good week um so just a quick of an oh, just a quick of an update just a quick update before we get going on your reading i know a lot of you saw the youtube and those that haven't i know you saw the instagram and you saw the facebook I just want to let you all know, uh, my beautiful mystic tribe, that I am 16 weeks pregnant. Um, so I brought the scan pictures to show you. Um, so we've got this one over here and we have this one. Obviously, it's still the one baby, but one was at the Royal Stoke Hospital. And then this one I had to go to a separate place for. So we ended up with two different types of scans. So um, the baby, yeah, so I'm pregnant. Uh, you can't tell from the top of me, but then if I move over like this, you can see that there's definitely uh, a baby growing in there. So um, you don't need to panic. The baby's due in November, like the end of November. Um, don't need to panic because I will still be here for you. I'm going to do a bunch of uh, public readings before I go uh, to hospital do you a bunch of readings and then that should get you covered for a few months until I can get back to working properly with you. Um, still hoping to do email questions in that time, probably take my foot off the gas with video recordings for you, uh, but do we'll, we'll still be doing the email readings when I get a chance, but I will keep you updated on a weekly basis on what's actually happening. So if you haven't found me on Instagram, you might wanna go over there and find me or Facebook and then I can keep you posted with everything, keep you posted with the journey and where we are and what's going on. Uh, but a real blessing for us all. We're, we're very, uh, totally thrilled. Totally thrilled. And I'd love to hear uh, what you guys think about the gender as well. If any of you have your psychic insights. And I'm also sorry for those of you that did message me and say, are you pregnant? Or I have a feeling that you're pregnant. And I said, no. Because that was a real fib. <laughs> it was a real, real fib. Um, so I do apologise for that, but I, I didn't want to let the cat out of the bag at that point in time. I wanted to um, tell all my fam fam family and friends first. So that's why it's took 16 weeks, four months it's took me to tell everyone. Okay, so on with the reading. Let's go. Let's do this. So we are going to do, will they ever commit to you? Because I know a lot of you are kind of sitting there pulling your teeth thinking this is taking forever. What's actually going on? Now I'm really being drawn to the more woodland fairy decks today. Uh, potentially a sense of grounding needing to happen with you all. Very strong earth energy coming forward, which is good for the solstice. Okay, solstice coming up in two weeks. Uh, I am actually away for a couple of days for the solstice but don't worry if you are booking private readings i will work around that okay so deck number one and deck number two will they commit to you number one number two have a think about you and have a think about your person i have actually i have got a couple of spaces available before the solstice so if you want a reading uh between now and then it will be next week if you want to book a reading i have a couple of spaces for next week so number one and number two okay will they ever commit to you think about your person as you're thinking about your person feel that heart-centered energy going towards the deck you are most drawn to okay let's do this deck number one number one as we would say okay will their person ever commit to them i love this deck this is the robin wood tarot um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful imagery on it. In fact, I love both of these decks. The other one is um, the Mystic Fairy Tarot, Linda Raven Ravenscroft. She's in Glastonbury. She's got a beautiful shop. I love her. I uh, went and met her, well, I went to the shop when I bought that deck. Um, really beautiful, beautiful artwork. Deck number one, right? Think about your person, your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number one. Okay, let's go. Will their person ever commit to them? Will their person ever commit to them? Do be do be do be do be do. Okay, so as I'm pulling the cards, normally this is when we get a song, uh, but so Spirit aren't giving us a song. They're giving us some wording for you guys instead. And they're saying silence is the wisest words. So you might be finding at the moment that you haven't really known what to do about the situation or, or where it's going or what's happening. Now, they're not talking about your person's silence. They're talking about your silence. Silence is the wisest words. So if your person is playing silly buggers and is being a bit of a player or just not giving you what it what you want, your best bet at the moment is just 
just withdraw and go a little bit quiet, okay? Because by doing that, your person is going to be making these stronger moves towards you. It's taking your foot off the gas. It's also telling the universe what you uh, that you're releasing it and surrendering it so it can come towards you. So they just said that really, really clearly. Silence is the wisest word. Will their person ever commit to them? Will their person ever commit? Another four, one, two, three, four. Okay, those two are not reversed. This one is reversed. So, will your person ever commit to you? Let me just have a sip of water. The overall answer is yes. They will do. They, they definitely will commit to you. It's been a tough road. It has been like you've been pulling your teeth. You haven't known what's happening with this situation, where it's going, what direction it's happening. And you guys have kind of been waiting patiently on the sideline thinking, is something ever going to happen here? But the overall answer is yes. When we're asking, are they going to commit to you? You have your celebration kind of coming forward first and foremost, kind of, at the, the you know, it will happen. You will get what you want from it. And your person also making moves towards you. Okay, so I'm going to actually read it downwards like this. We're reading down today. So we have your person making moves to offer you that commitment. So the overall outcome is yes, they will commit to you. Can we get a timing on that? Let me push for a timing. Spirit are giving me a three, um, three months roughly for the again it's your collective energy if you want to look at individual timings give me a shout but your collective energy on this movement this movement coming towards you with more commitment is three months okay so you might all be at different stages but when we go into your energy we pull out the strongest energy with you all and your overall energy is three months getting much more commitment from you. We've also got kind of Jupiter lingering in the background over here. So November again coming up as being a quite an important month for a lot of you with regard to the situation. So three months with commitment, uh, November for some of you guys as well. Okay, when we're asking about commitment, those are the two things that are flagging up. You have got your celebration. You have got the commitment happening with you and your person. It will happen. It's just a case of being patient. Patience. And Spirit is saying with that, there's going to be a real spring in your step, which is nice. Um, so when they do kind of come towards you and give you this higher level of commitment, it's going to really give you a bit of a Bambi bounce. You're going to be super happy. You're going to be super thrilled and you're going to be jumping for the hills. OK, now where you have been hurt before, we have three of swords, but it is in reverse. Where you have been hurt before in the Hierophant, um, this kind of energy over here is going to start evaporating and fading away. So even though there has been pain with you guys, this is going to be reversing. And why it's going to be reversing is because your person is going to realise um, that they want to be with you. They're going to make these moves towards you. So therefore, this pain is going to start easing up. We've got a bit of a story going along. OK, um, what's going to make this change with your person? What's going to create the change in them making moves towards you? What is that change? I'm hearing that song that says make a change. I can't remember who sang that. Okay, so what is going to be creating the change of them making this movement towards you? It's this longing, it's this yearning, it is this missing, okay? And this is why Spirit said at the start, silence is the strongest word. If you go a little bit quiet on your person, they're going to really miss you and wonder what you're up to, what's happening, how you are. Um, they will be thinking about you more than they have been. They're going to be planning a future with you. And that's when that quick movement comes in from them, okay? So the silence going a little bit quiet on them, which is a little bit, you know, fun and flirty rather than very deep and intense and emotional. If you go a little bit silent on them, you have this movement coming towards you and you have your celebration, which then ends this heartache and your person realising the kind of truth of a situation. So they're going to realise that you are the person that they want to be with. You are the person that they want to spend the rest of their life with. And so all this kind of heartbreak and pain is going to fade away. It's going to just evaporate into the background also with this we have a very strong spiritual connection with you guys um some of you guys as well potentially going to get married here there is a link with marriage not all of you some of you probably don't want to get married like me but um there is this link of marriage happening with you guys as well so this could be a marriage on a higher dimension, marriage on this dimension. Either way, there is a connection and the bonding between the two of you. So the commitment coming in. We have them coming towards you with an offer. OK, so like I said, reading downwards in the squares, we have them coming towards you with an offer. 
This offer is an offer of stability and security and with the lovers over here as well, very strong love energy with you guys. They're going to come towards you, giving you what it is that you want. So again, this offer of commitment definitely coming forward. We have the balancing of the masculine and feminine energies here. We also have the need um, and, and um, not need, but we have the vulnerability behind this. OK, so when your person comes towards you this time and makes these commitments and these movements towards you, you're going to see a different side of them. They're going to be more vulnerable with you. They're going to be talking to you more about their emotions and more about how they are feeling. OK, so that vulnerability coming up over here, coming towards you saying, you know what? Let's be together. And I just heard the name Mark really clearly. Now, I'm not saying every single one of you is dating a Mark, but I did hear that name really clearly. So just throw it out into the woodwork. Whoever's dating Mark specifically, they are going to show you that vulnerability and open up to you. OK, open up to you about their feelings. Great communication coming forward. And from there, the four of most pentacles, you have your brand new sparkling new beginnings. OK, things moving, things shifting, very future focused very stable, very secure, very family orientated. This is what they want. So yes, you are going to get the commitment three months, November time, um, as your collective energies on this. Some of you will be at three months, some of you will be at November, but there is a journey here. Okay. And it all starts with you guys just taking your foot off the gas a little bit. By doing that, you have this very, very quick, strong movement. They love you. They love you. They just need to they need to understand what life is like without you or just miss you rather than taking this kind of, a, um, you know, taking it for granted that you're there. They need to miss you. And through missing, you have this great, great, great commitment. You couldn't really ask for better cards. They're, they're brilliant cards. Things fading away, pain fading away, movement coming in, love between the two of you, realising the truth and making these moves and saying, let's be together. Let's have a future. So it's phenomenal. Really, really good. Good stuff. OK, that is deck number one. All right, my beauties, if you need me, drop me a message. As I said, I've got a couple of spaces for readings next week. Then I'm away for the solstice um, in Glastow. If you're in Glastow, come and say hi uh, going Back to my second home. Can't wait. One day I'm going to buy a bolt hole down there and I can just go whenever I want because I try and go like every few months. Um, so if you need me, drop me a message. Uh, details are all in the comments if you with the email address and things like that. I will speak to you all super soon. Have a blessed week and thank you all so much for your love and blessings with regard to me and Little Moon, as I call them, the baby, the baby, Little Moon. Um, like I said, we're totally thrilled and all your love and support, it means the total world to me. So thank you all from the total bottom of my heart and for all the lovely messages and comments and people asking for a PO box to send presents. It's, it's so beautiful of you all. Um, totally taken aback with all. So thanks, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Lots of love to you all. I will speak to you soon. Goddess blessings. Okay, guys, deck number two. And if you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on and you want to hear the massive big announcement that I made, if you didn't see it on YouTube and Instagram, uh, go back to the start of the reading. Uh, we are going to be having a baby. So it's super, super exciting. Um, and I just want to thank you all for your well wishes, your comments, um, your love, your support. You don't, I, as I said at the start, I don't want to keep going over myself, but you don't need to worry that... You know, I'm just going to abandon you when the baby comes. That is not my intention at all. I am planning and working through doing a bunch of stuff postpartum already. So you're all prepared, ready for me to, to go on a, a, a month or two's break. I'm not going to be gone long for you guys. Okay, think about your person for me. Let's have a look. Are they ever going to commit to you? Okay, so Spirit is saying you're feeling like you're dragging your tail a little bit or they are dragging their tail a little bit. It's probably the right way to phrase it with regard to the situation that you have been chasing your tail, dragging your tail. Things aren't really progressing. Things aren't really happening. And you guys are feeling rather irritated and annoyed with the whole thing. And you are wondering, do you pack it in? Let's see what's going on. Will they ever commit? Your person has quite an immaturity to them some of the time. And you don't really understand them. You can't quite work out why they are acting the way they are acting. Like, it's like they want to make these moves towards you. They want to commit to you. They want to give you all of that. But then they just... 
gets stuck and it gets stagnant and you're feeling like you're like I said chasing your tail you're going backwards and you're going forwards and you're like what's actually happening where is this going what are, is anything ever going to progress with this and it comes down to your person and again this kind of sense of immaturity sometimes they've also been hurt a lot in the past okay and i'm not just talking about exes ex-wives ex-girlfriends divorces i'm not talking about things like that we're talking about deeper rooted stuff there's a few childhood wounds and there's a few addiction energies coming up over here as well so alcohol drugs game station escapism behavior going on as well when your person feels that they are getting close to you you can feel that they're pulling away and you can feel that they are withdrawing and this is where that sense of immaturity comes from and when they withdraw this is where the addiction energy will come forward okay not saying every single person but there is this escapism behavior that comes with the addiction okay so whatever your person does so whether they go out drinking whether they go and have a few parties make a load of spliffs uh, like say go and have playstation sitting there with the lads for hours or girls playstations anything along those lines there is this sense of escapism happening over here sorry cutting out um so yes yeah, so you have this kind of escapism behavior coming up over here now your person feels a little bit stuck with regard to the situation with you they're feeling a little bit trapped by it they have these dreams and ideas that you are the person that they want to spend the rest of their life with and they actually drive themselves a little bit mad because they know that their behavior isn't good they know that i mean it isn't good but it isn't rewarding for you they know that their behavior isn't rewarding for you they know that they are frustrating you and they're also frustrating themselves with regard to the situation with you because their emotions are very real they are there um they are very strong emotions but they panic there's really this sense of panic in my heart racing over this they do love you with the knight of cups over here very strong emotions movement coming forward of love but we have a bit of a loop and we have a little bit of a cycle now the good news is this cycle is going to break with you guys and you have got really good potential so we've got the star and the sun over here the major arcanas and judgment okay so these ones coming up at the very very top of your spreads the star the sun and judgment so there is going to be a choice made on this and this choice is most likely going to be going into your favor of commitment the sun being the masculine energy the star being the feminine energy normally the moon but we're working with this star energy at the moment hope faith dreams ideas aspirations it can work the sun happy outcomes balancing of male and female energies and with judgment over the top this is a resurrection okay so the relationship between you two is going to resurrect and you have got this chance of a future and they are going to offer you that commitment when it's a bit up in the air you're all at very very different timings on this so it is is there a collective timing i'm asking spirit and they're saying there's no collective timing on this if you want to look at individual timings give me a shout it's just because you're all at very 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 different stages deck number one there's a collective timing deck number two you're at such different stages of the connection and there isn't that collective timing going on you will have a future with your person if that is what you want, but it's just this kind of feeling of being stuck and sticky and stagnant. So let's have a look at what is going to create these changes of your two energies aligning in this resurrection of the relationship. Let's leave those out. What is going to create the resurrection of debt number two's relationship? What creates it? Okay, so it looks as if your person is going to start getting a little bit jealous. So you guys, um, yeah, there is this kind of jealousy happening with you both. You've got this, this, your energy one end, your person's energy the other end, and in between the two of you, we have this jealousy and this conflict and this tension going on, okay? So potentially a few arguments, potentially a little bit of who is she, who is he, what are you doing What's going on? Why aren't you messaging me all the time? Why aren't you communicating with me? Are you seeing someone else? Worries, concerns, panics, doubts, what's happening, what's going on, on more of your person's part than your part, okay? But that is the mutual energy coming up between the two of you. But this is what is gonna be creating the shift, okay? So it looks like, and please don't shoot the messenger, it's gonna get a little bit worse before it gets a little bit better, okay? A little bit worse with you guys as this kind of conflict hits ahead, tensions mound sorry i've got rhinitis as well you know um my vertigo went as you can tell by studio lights my vertigo went 
And then I got stuck with rhinitis and these are all pregnancy symptoms. And I know some of you said, is it because you're pregnant? And I was like, oh no, no, I'm not pregnant. Lied, 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 lied. Told a few fibs rather than lying. Um, so yeah, so you have this mutual energy between the two of you, this really strong energy coming up with you both. This jealousy, this conflict, this tension, and this is what is gonna create the shifts. So your person's emotions are real. They do love you. They do love you. We have this movement coming in of love. It's just that they're acting a little bit immature at the moment. Things have happened in their past. And I'm hearing with this, um, we will not be silenced, which is quite interesting. Before in the past, it looks like your person might have been domineered by someone. And I don't mean in the kind of kinky way, unless that's what they're into. But it looks as if the person that either their exes or family members have tried to silence them for so long over the years that they haven't really got chance to connect with who they are as a person. Because every time they've tried to speak their opinion, and I definitely see childhood issues coming up here, just so a little blonde, um, a little blonde lad with uh, curtains, just trying to say his opinion, he looks about five years old, trying to say his opinion on something. And when it's happening, they don't say anything. And so that silencing energy has come up from stuff that's happened in their past, in their childhood as well. And because of that, when things go a little bit peak tongue and a little bit wrong, which is this conflicting energy over here, um, you might find that your person is either going to, the, the spirit saying we will not be silenced, you'll probably find that your person rises up, has a bit more of a temper with you, gets a little bit angry with you um, with regard to kind of jealousy and conflicting energies. But this kind of has to happen. I know it's hard, but this has to happen for this mutual energy between the two of you so you guys can have this chance of progression and that resurrection of the relationship. So it has to go a little bit peak tongue for it to get better. But the good news is that your energies will align with one another and where your person is at the moment, you're stuck in this cycle. You're going round and round and round and round and round and that immaturity is coming up and you're not kind of getting what it is that you want. It's sticky. It's stagnant. So for this kind of jealousy energy to come forward, coming up to the forefront, the conflict, the tensions, the arguments with that happening, it creates this shift within you guys. And through creating that shift... This is where you're going to get the um, the more strong offers of what it is that you want. You'll meet in the middle, spirit say, meet in the middle. And I'm just hearing with that, stuck in the middle with you, okay? Your person has got these feelings for you. They're just not handling it very well at the moment. Yes, there is a chance that they will commit to you and you will commit to them. Let's go flip it both ways. You've got to commit to them as well. There is that chance that it will happen. It's just that we have this conflicting energy, but that has to happen first before you get that commitment. Okay, really good stuff. It's just a bit more long, potentially. It's a bit more difficult than deck number one, but that's okay. All right, and that's step number two. So if you need me, all the details are in the descriptions. I'm sending you tons and tons of love. I will speak to you all soon. Uh, goddess blessings your way. And once again, just to thank you all for your love and support with the big news that I've just kind of thrown out the bag at you all. But like I said, don't panic. I will still be here for you. I'm not going anywhere. I will probably go quiet for a few months in November, December, January. Um, and then after that, we'll be back firing on all cylinders. Fingers thoroughly. Okay, guys, tons of love to you all. Goddess blessings.